Welcome to today's lesson. Kangave is my name from Semas. Today we are going to look at our lesson number 16, P7 term 3. We are going to look at a country known as Sudan. We've been looking at different countries. Today we are going to look at a country known as Sudan. Have you ever heard of this country called Sudan? Now, one, we need to know about its historical background. This country was originally known as Anglo-Egyptian Sudan. Okay? It was known as Anglo-Egyptian Sudan. What do we mean by Anglo? Anglo comes from the word from English, English speaking, meaning something to do with the British. Then Egyptian to do with Egypt, meaning it was a country that was ruled by both the British and the Egyptians. Now, this Anglo-Egyptian Sudan was colonized by the British. Therefore, we can say it uses English because it's a British colony. In 1956, this country got her independence. Okay, now, What's the size of Sudan? South, this country known as Sudan covers an area of around 1.8 square kilometers. It's around 1 million, 1.8 million square kilometers. That's around 1,886,000 square kilometers. So it's a very big country. In fact, Sudan was once the largest country in Africa. Before South Sudan got independence, Sudan was the largest. But after, after South Sudan getting independence, now Algeria took over as the largest country in Africa. Uh, the capital city of Sudan is called Khartoum. The capital city is known as Khartoum. Okay? Khartoum is located between two, the, the, uh, the confluence of the two rivers, that is the, Niger, the river, the Blue Nile and the White Nile, where they meet at the exact meeting point. That's where you find Khartoum. However, Khartoum being the capital city does not make it the largest city. The largest city in Sudan is called Omdurman. Okay? So this is the largest city in Sudan. About that's the Sudan. Maybe most people in Sudan use Arabic. Arabic is the national.